And our first guest tonight to discuss how that proposed uh, tax reform plan will boost the middle class and small business in particular, the Treasury Department's Assistant Secretary for Public Affairs, Tony Sayeg. Uh, good to have you with us, Mr. Secretary. We're <laughs> gonna, uh, we want to turn first to, uh, I, I love the uh, especially adroit way that the Treasury Secretary uh, uh, managed to avoid revenue neutral. It's, all, it's going to be paid for by economic growth. Straightforward, absolutely true. Uh, that's the plan. Can it come true? Absolutely, Lou, and that's what we're working on here. You know, there's a lot of alignment uh, here in Washington on tax reform. We've been meeting regularly with our colleagues and partners on Capitol Hill. Chairman Brady and the Secretary meet weekly. We are definitely focused on bringing this biggest individual and business tax cut in American history forward this year, getting it passed to, as the Secretary suggests, bring our economic growth, which Lou has been staggeringly low, stuck in the 1.5 to 1.8 percent right. range for the last eight years, and taking that back up to 3 percent and have that happen in a sustained way. Now, what does that mean? Some estimates project that's $2 trillion in added revenue to the federal government. That's helpful. That kind of growth also spurs say that, say that job again. How much additional revenue to the federal government based on uh, higher increments of growth? The compounding effect from 1.8 growth to 3.0 growth is projected to be somewhere in some estimates around two trillion dollars. That's how you get an economy working again. That's how you create better jobs. You also reduce middle income taxes, reduce from seven brackets down to three. You simplify the code. We're taking away and eliminating many of the deductions that a lot of our colleagues on the Democratic side for years have been decrying as basically favors to special interests and the rich. We're keeping the charitable, but that's we're only keeping because the mortgage interest. They've been special favors uh, for the rich uh, and uh, special interests. And uh, I, I love the way. I'm sorry, go ahead. And, and, we're, and we're closing them, Lou. We're closing those loopholes. And we're also at the same time going to protect retirement savings. So we, we understand that we have to make this four million word tax code a lot simpler to make it more user friendly for our taxpayers and make it more efficient for our government. You know, I don't think that you're going to find, I would hope that you would not find much resistance amongst the Republican Party on reducing the, uh, the business tax, the 15%. Uh, to repatriate two and a half, three, whatever the number turns out to be, uh, trillions of dollars in earnings that is uh, that are now deposited uh, on uh, in foreign banks uh, offshore. I, I shouldn't think there'd be much of a problem. A middle class tax cut. Uh, this uh, sounds to me like a, a, a winning plan. Yet already we are hearing from the Dems obstructionism. Yet already we're hearing from some quarters of the Republican Party they want revenue neutral. Uh, I, I, I mean, it's the most peculiar reaction uh, amongst people that you would think would be representing the middle class, working men and women and their families, uh, and, and small business in particular, but big business certainly as well. I would really ask our Democratic uh, colleagues to read what ultimately comes out in this legislation, because they will find that this will be a historically large, massive middle income tax cut, which we've been hearing for years from the left, is a priority. It will also allow, to your point, Lou, by the reduction from 35 percent in the business tax rate to 15, small businesses, these pass-throughs as they're called, which are frankly owner-operated small businesses, to exist at a very competitive tax rate so they can grow those companies. They can create jobs. We all understand small business is the engine of job creation in this country. To your point again on the repatriation, we have trillions offshore that we want to be able to give corporations a chance to bring back yeah. here to reinvest to create what are we talking about jobs this is Lou as much about jobs and economic growth as it is tax reform people have to understand that and then I think that gets uh, a lot more people supporting us you know uh, mr. secretary I, I want it all I don't want to take just some <laughs> elements I, I want to repatriate those trillions of dollars I want the middle class uh, to get tax cuts that they deserve after having been pressed as this president documented on the campaign trail, uh, they, the middle class, working men and women, their families need to be uh, at the apex of the goals uh, in any tax reform, I would venture to say.